Thomas, don't do the thing. It's not necessary. I'm gonna do I it. I know it can do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I bet you this can do it. No, it can't. You yeah, know it's a it Mybach. James, don't try it. Um. Oh no. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And today we've brought along the Maybach GLS because even though there are those that say the Rolls-Royce is without equal, we wondered what happened if you spent half the price. And does it get you more than half the car? Maybach. A legend in the luxury car world. Arguably the most luxurious German badged vehicle on sale. And while it might be a discount compared to the Rolls Royce, it still isn't a cheap outing. Today's example is specced to $230,000 Canadian. But for that, Daimler says that you'll experience luxury in its purest form. But the Cullinan is effortless everywhere, so they say. But even though Rolls advertises the Cullinan as something that can navigate the savage landscapes of the Sedan or the rough terrain of the India Ghat Mountain Passes, we all know it's going to spend more time in Whole Foods parking lots. But that's okay, because when it comes to the road, it certainly looks like it will allow complete and utter superiority over any rival. Let's find out. And a huge thank you to Lekos Autos here in Toronto, who have a pretty crazy variety of vehicles, for allowing us to feature their menacingly specced Cullinan. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, first things first. Where did you get the actual Mercedes badge? We didn't actually rip the Mercedes badge off of a Maybach, by the way, in no, case you're worried. We do care about cars. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I ripped this off of your, your 190E, actually. What? Anyway, this is the Cullinan, and it is one hell of a vehicle. Arguably the ultimate SUV. It's actually the ultimate bus, I think, bus. based on its size, which is a good thing that it has a 6.75 liter V12. It's just the power delivery is so Rolls Royce, isn't very it? Very smooth. Oh, it's just very, very so smooth. smooth. And like the loudest thing in here right now is the fact that we've got the air conditioning on. No, soft. no, that's not a compliment to the car because the loudest thing in any Rolls Royce is the fan. Is the fan? Is, I know. Is, is this air conditioning? This is a really pebbly road, and it's just what's what's the word? It wafts. Wafting. But it has heft. It does have heft. It doesn't try to hide its heft. A lot of SUVs they try and be smaller than yep. they are. This is just. A big bastard. Now, Rolls Royce isn't really ashamed of this. In fact, they built, they built this vehicle. That sounds so ridiculous for off-roading. No, don't buy it. <laughs> this, there's an off-road button. By the way, this is the first time I've seen a vehicle that just has one off-road setting. Because no one's off-roading this. This is the most Rolls Royce thing to me because there's just an off-road or an on-road button. Because I just picture a guy saying, "I don't understand." So obviously, you can be either on the road or you can be off the road. Um, so, I want to say that the sound deadening in here could even be better by the use of a two-box design. This one doesn't have the... Two-pack? No, a two-box. Oh, uh, two-box. Yes. Two-box. Two-box design. Yes. A three-box design is this section, your section, and the trunk. Okay. And they're all open to each other right now because there's no partition. And they're progressive. R yes. To be fair, Rolls-Royce did not design this to be anything else other than a utility vehicle, apparently. In fact, they give you examples in the press release of what you could fold down the seats for. Um, they say that whether you're bringing back a Mark Rothko from the art gallery or yep. the latest find from your archeological dig, 
there's room in the culinary. That's all in one Tuesday. To be Easily, honest. yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure that they know how much archaeologists make for a living. <laughs> no, they just they, um, you know what? They, it, the best of the best archaeologists. Maybe they're killing it. Yes, yeah, sure. maybe they're, they're gentlemen archaeologists who buy their way onto dicks. Anyway. This vehicle is sensational to drive. What about the ride, right? Because like normally the SUVs sacrifice a bit of ride compared to something like the, the, the Phantom or the Ghost. And then this is the same platform. This is the architecture of luxury. It is. It doesn't have dampers for the dampers. It does like not the have Ghost. dampers for the dampers. No, but it, but it does have this like, okay, here's what it does lack in maybe a little bit of bump damping and maybe a little bit of body control. It makes up for in what is probably the most boss feeling of any vehicle I've ever been in. Like you feel like a, a legend driving this car. Yeah, the, the spirit of ecstasy in front of you. You're driving so position. high up. Yeah. yeah, you're even higher back there, so you can look down on me and probably everybody else. But the whole idea with this is that it's it's utility, and I can't cut, stop dwelling on that because that is what Rolls tries to sell the Cullen as. <laughs> but off roading or not, other than the Phantom and I guess the Ghost. This, the ride in this is honestly, it's the last word in resplendent luxury. Except maybe it's not, because this is also about maximum comfort and stability. It combines the e-active body control with the aromatic suspension, allowing this Maybach to individually control the spring and damping forces at each individual wheel. On top of that, the dynamic forces from the hydraulic pump overlay the air suspension forces to support and dampen it even further. The intended result? No squatting on acceleration, no pitch on braking. And yeah, it, it has that feature too, which was made so that you could get out of a sticky off-road situation, but now the world has decided it's for TikTok. Okay, in the Maybach. Yep. Uh, just a quick question about that bounce feature. Yes, gimmick. Gimmick. Yeah. Um, do you think people have done naughty things with it? Because it, it has mm. that vibe, and I posted a Marvin Gaye story okay. singing to it. But I thought about it logistically. Yeah. Not I'm giving it much. My friend thought about it. Yeah. And no, he that said that it's, it's not that easy because you have to be in drive, in off-road mode, with your foot on the brake pedal. So you have a choice. You can either be the person in the driver's seat with your foot on the pedal, which will cause an accident at some point. Yeah. Or you or have to hire someone. Hire a friend. To, to, yeah. And there's also, you know, being in sync with it, internet of phase. Anyway, um, I think that- <laughs> Moving ooh, on. Yeah, ooh, a V8, that's nice, but you know what it isn't? It isn't a V12. No, I know, rid yourself of any notion yes. that the SGLS 600 equals V12, because in this, it is the bi-turbo V8 from the GLS 63. Listen, doesn't Mercedes Maybox say that this engine is exclusive? No, it so says the, the GLS Maybach can be exclusively had with the M177 engine. So it makes it sound like it's an exclusive engine. But it's, it's not. It's not. It's the same engine as all the 63s. It's tuned differently though. Yeah, this has been detuned. So ah. it's 550 horsepower. Okay. And look, when I floor it right now, it's, it's quite okay. smooth. It, it is, it's coarse though compared to a 12. It There's is. like a like a like a frequency of vibration that the 12 doesn't have. It's, it's trying a bit harder. Yes. And I, I yes. found that with the Bentley Continental GT as well. It's still, we, because we tried the V8. Yep. I don't think it can live up to that W12 that the Bentleys have. Okay, I gotta I gotta talk about something in here right now. Um, so we'll go over this in detail in a minute. But I must say that would you call? You have curve mode on? I've got curve mode on. Oh, I could tell. See, I, I put to it's you weird. that this car has more personalities than the Rolls Royce, which is yeah. singular. Yeah, this is this is really nice though. Oh, You've dear. got nice tables back there? Yeah. So m we've tried curve mode and we tried it in the GLE and it's amazing. Basically the car leans into the corner yep. like a motorbike. Yep. And you do it doesn't experience body roll, which I'm going to say that the Rolls Royce actually had quite a lot. Quite a of lot of body roll. Yeah, but that's part of its character. Don't forget, James, it is an off-road utility vehicle. Yeah, but this has got <laughs> off-road stuff as well, uh -huh. uh, including the bounce feature. <laughs> but what I'm more curious to try is new for this car is okay. the Maybach drive mode. All right, let's see if it's different. Ready? All right, which Maybach mode's on. So what this does is it, it changes a bunch of things, but most importantly, it shifts the balance of the car so that the passenger has the most, has the least amount of vibrations, the most relaxed experience. Switch it back to comfort? 
Okay, so we are so this is this my is bark mode. This is my bark mode. This is super important testing we're doing right now for you guys. And now we're now we're in comfort. comfort. Well, now we're hitting a corner. Um, look at that! Wow, it takes the corners really, really. Oh well. God, that's so strange. What on earth? Well, that's that's without curve. That's without curve that's mode without on. That's without curve. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna turn around. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hit those corner. corners again with curve mode on. Speaking of which, I just to, just to, we're being very discombobulated here. Sorry, a pillow went flying under James's intense sports car like braking. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the 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 Bimbach mode doesn't do anything. It didn't change at all. It didn't change. <laughs> no. It shifts. No, but I think you'll find it, you'll find it does shift the balance over to. Okay, so we're in curve mode now. Curve mode. Okay. Right, I'm not gonna take this like a complete lunatic. No. Toss it in. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so weird feeling. That's weird. That's so easy. Oh my god. That's <laughs> impressive. That's impressive. Oh, I don't care what you say. That's impressive. That really is. So it's. I think it's pretty much as quick as the Cullinan. Uh, yeah, I would say, especially if you have corners. And you involved. look very comfortable back there. I well, I as I said, I don't want to ruin too much, but I am supreme. All right, so then the last this question is, before we talk about the actual comfort, yep. does the ride, because we've always said the ride in a Rolls-Royce is second to none. Yes. Does the ride compare to the Rolls-Royce? And keep in mind, this has the 23-inch Maybach wheels, which is a $7,500 option. Yeah, I will say that like this is some pretty rough pavement right now, yeah. and we are crashing over the bumps. Also, you can kind of hear the dashboard creaking on some of these like body motions yeah. and I can hear the suspension compressions happening right by my this isn't on the same level as a roll it's very nice no but I it's, agree it's not quite at the level of even old my box really no the, I mean the rolls has got to win somewhere for that price the thing is is that rolls does insulation from the road in a totally different way than yes this. yeah this is just like it's a more athletic car. It's a sure. more athletic car, but I don't want athletic. But it is also half the price, and it does not have half the ride. No, <laughs> so no it is. It's it's closer it, than. Uh, it is seventy-five to eighty percent of the insulation and ride of a Rolls, for half the price. We have driven the, uh, the Bentley, the whatever it's called, Bentega. the Bentega. Yeah. I, I was going to say jewelry store, but I, it's not the right. <laughs> um, and. What else is there? There's the Range Rover Autobiography. I've driven that. It's nice. It's not in these in this class, to be perfectly honest. And the Durango. The Durango. <laughs> no, you can't I just wanted to slip that in there. I figured you were just saying like, whatever was on the prompt. The Durango. Durango. Durango oh. Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Out of all, I think that we have today, we probably have the two most baller. Can we line them up? Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, the sideboards. Look at the size of these things. They're huge. Oh, they're so good. Look at this. Although, you now have to close the door yourself. Like a peasant. Yes. And, and we've, we've got used to the Rolls life. <laughs> you don't need it anymore. <laughs> All right, so we know how they drive. Yes. But obviously, the reason you buy these cars, or one of the reasons, is presence and style. This wins. Does it? Yeah. Look at the size of this vehicle and, like, the, the grandeur. Yeah. I like that word. I only get to use grandeur when you're talking about Rolls-Royce. I think it's peak Rolls. Whoa. <laughs> it just it, it embodies what I would see as modern luxury now. It's not, it's not but like the Phantom, though. Oh, the Phantom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the I'm, Phantom, I'm, I'm thinking Ghost. I don't okay. want to do the Phantom like that. Okay, no, so no one would be doing the Phantom like that. People have said that this doesn't look good, this vehicle. It, look, it looks overbearing. I, I get it. It's, it's very, I'm more important than you. Here, here's, here's what I have to say. I think that if you were going to take a Phantom and make it an SUV, it would look like this. What else could it look like? This is what a Rolls Royce well, you got, actually You got to look like. at your choice of celebrities as well. So when I visited Universal Studios with my fanny pack and my hat, yeah, um, fanny pack for sure. Jennifer Lopez had this in her parking spot. Whereas recently, I think Kanye bought Kim before there. Wait a second, I just, just got to go back. Um, yeah, so, 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 you visited Universal Studios when this was when this vehicle was out, which was the first year is what? Um, no, this was a year just like, just before COVID hit. Right, and you were wearing a fanny pack then. I was I thought it was the nineties. And you were a hat with, with the propeller, yeah. Um, but and Kanye bought Kim six Maybach GLSs. Six. Why? Because I don't know. I don't think that even. It, what, does what, that equal she, one Rolls Royce? Which you drive on Sunday? Well, for every other day of the week. That's I'm, true. One of these, I guess. Yeah, just drive into the divorce office, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is fine. I just yeah. I don't think. First of all. 
orange peel and the paint. Massive yeah. amounts. Well, of you're it. paying for it in the rolls. You know, this is, yes, this is double the price. But I guess you're actually it. also paying for that because for that, it's 230 grand. It is, and this grill is uh, with this. It's not. Well, you know, I, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know, downplay the grill. You know, my, if, if I was to describe it, I would say you know this elegant line of vertical chrome pinstripes. It, it actually adds as, as a motif, and um, and and then, and then they widen into small ore blades at the upper edge blending into a chrome frame, um, which, which bears the lettering, my back at the top center. You're just reading the press release again. You just read, yeah, that's press release language, obviously. Uh, the, the language is so flowery on the Rolls press releases. I needed something. Yeah, that's not even flowery. You want, you want to see a press release story? Go on. I got one for you. Okay, yeah, let's right. look at the back of this, okay? Because okay. I've, got, I've got one, I got a humdinger. Yeah, we haven't got the wheels I've got. Look at those 23 inch my back wheels. Yeah, those wheels are better, you win. Yeah. But where you don't win, is this okay because first of all split folding gate okay all right, all right. an x7 that's, has that's that. very good um i pushed the wrong button there i'm just gonna there we go so you can have a seat on here watch the i'm not sitting on that yeah, it's scary isn't it but i have a piece from the press release that i am going to read to you verbatim Okay. 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 This is about this back hatch because this is the simplest form of this it can be customized in many a way now this is i'm going to start the quote right now ready Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and imagine it. Okay, well that's good because the first line is <clears throat> Imagine the scene. Having chosen your adventure, you call down to your garage Jason, we're going to go drone racing today. Can you load the drone module into the Cullinan? Downstairs, Jason selects the drone racing module from the rack containing several other recreation modules that the owner has commissioned from Rolls Royce to satisfy his or her preferred recreational pursuits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, massive congrats on the accent. Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a four out of ten. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's nutty. Okay, so the fact that they're living in a world where you can option a like a falconry set module for your Cullinan is, is that's all the evidence that you need. There's, there's even one I saw with laptops and smartphones. It's I don't just, know what that's for. It's just for like doing hacking or <laughs> something. I, I saw the hacker named 4chan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you could, you could get any, all these modules that slide into the back and you store them in your module container in your garage and you keep a man named Jason like down there so he could load them for If you. I told someone I had a module, they'd be like, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> you need a, to make sure it's benign. That's a nodule, but I know what you mean. Okay. Anyway. Right. Uh, interiors, which one do you Look at first. Uh, let's start with the rolls and move back. Okay, because this is it's pretty epic. Okay. You, it. you cheat every time. I know. I do. You start let's it see. and then you say go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, first impressions. This blue. It what? This blue. Oh, I thought you meant it blue. That was no, a strange blue. sentence. Okay. Yes, the blue is the richest like color I've seen yes. in leather. It's I think. cobalto blue. Cobalto blue. Yeah, which is just co cobalt blue, but Co they've added no. <laughs> yeah. Why? To make it fancy. Okay. Is that champagne? No, it's some champagne. Champagne. No. Yeah. Um, anyway. I mean, it looks amazing. Otherwise, this is very much a, uh, a Rolls Royce interior, right? Well, you can tell it's previous gen already, right? The, we were in the Ghost recently, if you've seen that review. Yep. It, it is upgraded in places. Like this yep. This infotainment here now it's seems... a bit dated. Yeah, slightly older, slightly dated. smaller screen. Although they've stayed true to the gauge cluster. Which I do really like. I, I like the, the half digital, half analog gauges. Everything's clean. But like this is, in terms of a spec for a Rolls, when I saw this in pictures, yes, I didn't think it looked very good. It looks a bit tacky. But then you get in here. It's wonderful. And it's like you get the starry night. With the, shooting the, stars. The black with the blue. I'm not making any more wishes. <laughs> no, right? no, no, no wishes. Hit me in the arse last time. <laughs> You've seen the ghost review. Okay, but I mean, the, the, the interior of this is the most Drake- Thing I have ever they seen. They both are. Drake literally owns a Maybach GLS. Yeah, I know, but like, and I think maybe one of these. Who knows? Seriously though, the seats are so comfortable. We've got the lamb wool mats. Lamb, yeah, lamb's wool, yeah. Yep. Which I've now learned they don't necessarily need to die. The lambs don't always die. But right? a lot of cows, a lot of cows. <laughs> yeah, a lot of. Well, everything's cows. leather wrapped. Bulls specifically. Bulls. Um, no, this the, the, the headliner is obviously completely leather. Everything is leather all the way down. Everything's chrome and leather. It's oh, it's just. And as we've learned, it's a game of options where yeah. the nut, the price just jumps up every time you look at something. That clock probably seven grand. Because a zillion dollars. These, these stitched spirit of ecstasies. Oh, they're free though. I th oh no, no, they're not. They're not no, free. Yeah. They're, they're six thousand yeah, dollars. Um, yeah. The, uh, the the steering wheel in the Cullinan is a smaller diameter than the Ghost and the. Uh, did you notice that? 
No, I didn't. Yeah, it's just a little bit smaller. Interesting. Does it, yeah. Maybe does it just seem smaller? No, I think it actually is. They spec it to be smaller. I don't really know why. Either way, this is as athletic of a vehicle as Rolls-Royce makes. Remember, this is not... Whoops, please, please remember when we look at the back seats that this is for adventures. Crossing. That sounds like you're making excuses. I, I, no, no, I'm not. It's, it's James. It's for crossing the Sahara. Is that why Navigating it doesn't have? Navigating through the mountains of India. Is that why for half a million dollars you get a brake pedal that looks like that? Yeah. Have you seen the my back pedals? I have, and we'll show them to everybody in a minute. But like, it's worth saying that. Come All on. All right, let me try these back seats then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. blue key. Got it. It's specced with the color. I That's love extra that. though, right? I love it. Cobalto blue. Cobalto blue. And this one's an option with running boards. It's basically dangerous. Oh, see that? Yours was half closed. No, I know. Or half I, open. I cheated again. Depending on how positive a person you are. <laughs> oh, the starry night. Yes. Uh, it, it's, like uh, it. okay. So we're in kind of jump seats right now. Yes. I have to say yeah. that. The leather is soft. It's they're, comfortable. Kind of, they're really comfortable. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel like a, a spa day. No, not like a ghost or a phantom. Well, can you adjust them? You, yeah, of course. No, you can't. No, they're attached to them. No, you can. This one, this one. Oh, you can adjust yep. the headrest. That's fine. We don't want to. Totally adjustable. Massively optimized for my comfort now. Look at that. I remember the Ghost had immersive seats and they were like $11,000. I'm wondering if that's what you need. Mm. Okay. The, again, again, the point of the Cullinan is... Alleg allegedly. You no. Know, according to Rolls-Royce and all of the fancy words in the press releases I read, it's like a nine-page document describing yep. why this facilitates the adventure in your life. It also talks about modules. <laughs> Yes. In real life. Yes. In real life, this is to go on adventures with. If you, if not, you'd buy the Ghost or you'd buy the Phantom. You buy the Cullinan because you and no some one's buying friends. It. No one's buying what you're selling, mate. I know. It's not a thing. It's what they're trying to sell. I, I, I'm just, I'm just really digging the cold, Cabalto blue. The Cabalto blue is it's really, just, it's really everywhere. Good. You know. Um, that's the feature you get back here. Nice. Cup, cup holders. Okay, but we can say that the materials in here, as usual in a Rolls Royce, Second to none. are incredible. Every yep. single thing is trimmed in leather. The seats are soft. And like the, 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 the leather is just, we've been in a lot of fancy cars. Nothing feels like that. And that is, that's why you buy a Rolls, not for the big reclining seats and all the well, stuff in the Cullinan, I guess. But. Other than the Bentayga, we are, we've brought along the one vehicle that might be it able to Might compete. give it a run for its money. So let's, so go, let's go, go take a look. Yeah. You have to actually push it. No, you don't. It doesn't have effortless. Really? Yeah. I, the assumption. Oh, I that get, is dumb. On your adventure, someone else is opening the door for you. But look at the my back. All right. Now, obviously, you're, you've immediately got that scent of uh, white osmanthus blossom with a rounded off by spicy tea. That's exactly what I was going <laughs> right. to say. The smell is immediately a white osmanthus blossom. Yes, rounded off by spicy tea. Okay, does it have scents in the glove box? Yes, this is the yeah, okay. the Mybox scent. That's what their scent is. That's so, that's what they say it is. Yeah, white osmanthus. So there's, some, there's some flowery language. Oh for you, my literally. god. Okay. Anyway, right. in here is a GLE. Oh, was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> no, it is. Uh, yeah, it is a GLE. Yes. However. We do have the stripes. Rear, we have the, we got stripes. The stripes, which are very nicely made. It's a GLE with stripes, and uh, they obviously represent that we have the rear executive package. And I don't think we should waste any more time in the front of this GLE. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> there's only like one or two things I want to point out. Um, I like the leather up here, like this, like there, I like how much stitching there is. So it this this has special. this has the extended leather option. There is one extra leather option that it doesn't have, which, which does is, this little bit, right? Yeah, it does this bit here. It's eight thousand dollars. Whoa. So it does that bit, and it does um, it does round the back here, which you can't see when you the door's see. closed. It's when you open the door. So it does it does the last few bits for eight grand. And, and, I, I would and, save that. Oh, and the pedals got to point those out. Really cool. Much nicer. Much really nicer. cool. I, I I dig that. Massively. But where this wins, and I think even over a double the price Rolls Royce, yep. is its focus on the passengers. Let's go look. Because I know we discussed the my back mode prioritizes the balance to the passenger seats, but it's not yep. just the balance, right? Look at this. It's crazy. So I, I will agree, it's GLE in the front, but instead of being a th three row- It's all my back back here, it's all baby. my back in the back. <laughs> uh, I mean, look at the, um, the, you know, you talk about the stripes, but look at the, the visual it gives you from the back there. No, there's, there's a few things that are, that are genuinely sensational in this back. First of all, that, the backs of these seats look great with the ambient lighting stripe. This decking yes. is 
just It looks like it's off one of those beautiful speedboats. Yeah, like I almost wish that it was like hand-oiled teak, right? It's just... You know what? For you, it is. Okay. It is. But no. it's, it also has the Burmester high-end 3D sound in, integrated the into it. The sound system yeah. is amazing in this car. Uh, there are things I love about this bag. Like, even this phone charger... Yeah. ...charges through the case. Wait, what? Power. That's my power. That rarely happens. Yeah. Like, you know, I think this is half the price of the, the rolls and you're coming off you've just done a you just done a great gig you know <laughs> everyone booed you off the stage because you're rubbish yeah um that'd be me and you get in like this is going to feel as much of an experience as the rolls um this the these seats are first of all we have to show everyone <clears throat> it comes with a yeah these guys like pillows a, a mymock branded pillow um which you don't need or you do need depending on which lumbar support you want but these seats fully recline there's like a leg rest thing there's a lot of piano black i will say that and of course there is a cooler. A cooler. With no champagne. Mercedes didn't give us the champagne flutes. They don't trust us enough. Oh. Um, but uh, well, these screens are easy to get on with. They're just and they're quick. No responsive. What were we in recently where the screens in the back were not that impressive? That was a Rolls Royce. It was a Rolls Royce. Yeah, it was a Rolls Royce. <laughs> these are more impressive than a Rolls. They are. This yeah. is this is starting to. This looks great, but there's in the new. We have seen the new Maybach S Class now. Which is the next generation. The next generation. There's, there are, yeah. there's even funkier stuff than this, but this doesn't feel old at all. No, no, no. This still feels like a like an absolute occasion. Like everything is leather still, and instead of a starry night, you can get a a Giant. real starry night by just opening the windscreen. Not in the city, there's still uh, lots I, of pollution. I, I will say that I like the starry night better as an experience for the back. Like just the yeah. look. it's just really really neat. And there's a privacy vibe to it. But this is this is fantastic. I got the blinds that well, go this up. This isn't here. even an adventurous oh, spec. This is black on black on black on black. I've, Some of the specs here, where you get the different browns I've, there and, it the, is. and the woods. I think this is almost for a boring spec. Quote: It's still wonderful back here. And you know what it does have? Yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, the little bit when it goes back to. You know what it does have is it has doors that work, right? Because we've learned now that at first when you get into rolls you're really impressed by the fact that you push a button and it closes automatically but if you don't get the what's the extra rolls thing called yeah, effortless doors effortless doors which you didn't get on with either they were too helpful they were too helpful <laughs> but these the doors in that rolls like this is just a door in a car the rolls doors are heavy and difficult to operate the button doesn't make any sense no and these are these are he's they're cooled and massaging so so honestly I I'm, I'm trying to figure out what 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 to do here because the rolls is obviously king in a lot of places. If you could mix them together, I'd take the inter the, ex the rear of this at least in the interior. Yes, absolutely. But, I, I do like the rolls exterior. But I would take a Phantom. Yeah, that's way more money. The Phantom we drove was eight hundred. Oh, that's right. It is this ridiculously is expensive. We're, isn't we're it? in this weird, messed up world now where two hundred and thirty. As spec, doesn't actually seem crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. It does to us, but on? like in the world of super luxury SUVs, this is the price. The, you can get this entire Maybach for the price of the options on a Phantom. True. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> right? What does that tell you? I'll take this, please. Two of them, I guess. Six of them if you're Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Which in the right light. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Thomas might not be a Kim lookalike. Oh, and Kanye bought her five Maybachs, not six. My mistake. More importantly, after much thought and as time with the vehicles went on, it became obvious why the Rolls-Royce comes with the higher price tag. The Maybach is actually pretty incredible, and its rear seat game is without question even more luxurious and indulgent feeling than the Rolls-Royce. But that's about where it ends. From the driver's seat, and the driver's seat alone, the Maybach doesn't feel $100,000 more than a well-optioned and already great GLE 450, and to the untrained eye, it doesn't look that different either. The rolls, on the other hand, from the bespoke recreation modules to the cockpit to how it looks from 100 yards away, it never lets you forget its position at the top of the luxury SUV food chain. Its styling, its smoothness, and its ability to soak up the road and all the sound on the highway and make you feel important is genuinely second to none. Thanks for watching.